my name is Sophie Webster and I have created the Lit Lamp. A lampshade made out of beer can pop tabs. The only thing I had to buy for this project was a $10 lampshade from Home Depot, but everything else is being reused. I already had a light bulb and Gorilla Glue at my house, along with some really helpful tools, which were tin snips and pliers and this lamp stand I'm reusing from an old lamp that my mom used to have in her classroom and of course pop tabs all these pop tabs I gathered from around my house people in the neighborhood or I got a big bag of pop tabs from the Austin High donation box 947 pop tabs. I didn't end up using all of the pop tabs, but if I was able to gather almost 1,000 of them, think about how many are in the landfills. Mark Recycling says every year we create 1 million tons of waste worldwide by throwing away aluminum cans. This not only fills up landfills, but it wastes energy and causes extensive environmental damage in creating new cans. Reuters.com explains the environmental damage by saying that production of each can pumps about twice as much carbon into the atmosphere as each plastic bottle. As you can see, aluminum cans aren't great for the earth, and they take about 200 to 500 years to decompose. Tom Husband mentioned that in Dawavi, the cans are soaked in acid so that the designs and brand names are removed, then they are crushed and melted in a furnace. Aluminum can be melted but shouldn't be burnt because if there's any water trapped inside the cans, it could lead to a steam explosion. Aluminum is also expensive to make. According to Statistica.com, in 2019, the average price for aluminum stood at 1,794 nominal US dollars per metric ton. And the chart on their website shows that by 2025, it will cost 1,894, at least 100 more dollars. The chemical formula for aluminum is Al and the percent composition is 52.925 and the oxygen is 47.075 mass percent. Aluminum is a compound found in bauxite. Its melting point is 660 degrees Celsius, and aluminum's atomic number is 13. Aluminum.org says only 46.1% of aluminum cans are recycled each year. The same source mentions the history of aluminum. In the 1860s, aluminum oxide clays were used for dyeing hide and fabric, fireproofing, and first aid. Then, Carl Joseph Bayer developed a chemical way to extract aluminum from bauxite in 1887. In the 1900s, engineers learned how useful the material could be. In World War II, aluminum material was useful to help build aircraft frames, ship infrastructure, and more. I use aluminum to make this lampshade, so let me show you how I made it. First, I had to completely destroy the lampshade to where I just got this rim. Then I took a collection of aluminum cans and I had to pop off all of the tabs. This part was hard at first, but I think I figured out a good method for getting them off. Once I had all my pop tabs, oops. I had to count how many I needed to bend for it to go all the way around the rim like that. You just take your pliers and you twist it like that and then you might have to adjust it a bit and it'll hook right onto the rim but you definitely want to super glue it so A they're not just falling off but B they're really dirty so the whole thing isn't moving around while you're trying to make it. Once I had all the prep work done, you separate it and then you hook it on, clamp it there in the back. And that's all. Then you just keep doing that. You want to make sure that you go clipping in an alternate pattern, front back, front back. Nice close up so you can see how that works. 
That way it gives you a super cool pattern, but also so it doesn't start to fan out and curl up. Trust me, I learned the hard way. This part can be pretty time consuming, but I watched all nine seasons of The Office, so time went by pretty fast and I had a lot of fun making this project. Yay! Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed my lampshade. Bye!